What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Unoriginal Craft. Um, this is gonna be a bit of a quieter episode. People are sleeping in my house, and this is the latest I might have ever recorded ever. It's almost 12:30 a.m., and even talking right now, I feel like I'm gonna wake everyone up. But I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, anyways, first things first, I did change this place around a little bit, and by that I mean all the torches. I did check around for like lighting levels. Um, I believe in the last episode, I was also putting torches in the back here and getting rid of all the torches in here. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't figure out a way to not have just the torches in the back, so I did have to throw in a few torches. I think even like, yeah, like this for example. Um, a few other things I did, or like I said, I did like kind of tiki torches. I placed all these down, I put some, I brought some more sugar cane, I also put vines. I went out and got a whole bunch of vines. Same with these. This took like two hours to get all put together. Whoa, I almost fell off here. There have been like um, mobs that have been coming up here and making their way up here, and especially like, down from that way. I've noticed a lot coming from over here and over there. I've been trying my best to light up the place as good as possible, and I don't like your placement. Not at all. Ugh. Yeah, even that. I'm, I'm being so like technical about it. <laughs> Well, that's better. Um, yeah, but I feel like it's too big of a space here. Well, uh, yeah, so I placed a whole bunch of vines on there. I tried to make it look as good as possible. And like I said, I did some more sugar cane. Ooh, that's scary nose, though. Nose, that, <laughs> that's scary nose, though. I don't know how far to make, like, the torches beyond this point, like, tiki torch-like. I'm also considering putting a fence around here just because the mobs just keep coming. There have been some... Whoa, I just got turned on. There have been some mobs coming from this way as well. And it's been really, like, annoying. Cause, yeah, like, this is where we spawn. I do not want mobs attacking people here. But otherwise, I'm really proud of this. This is looking pretty good in my opinion. So I'm happy with this for the most part. I'm mostly done with this area, minus the staircase. I still have to do that. But that's actually not the focus of today. I will come back to this. Um, but actually we should destroy this workbench as well. I moved all the chests that were up here and I've just been doing like a big cleanup job in the past few hours. I haven't really played in the past almost a week only because of like real life issues. Well not really issues but I mean like just real life related stuff. Um, I saw it has no meth labs. I don't know what that means. No meth job or no meth <laughs> no meth jobs. Oh boy, um, no meth labs, but um, I'm just gonna leave that to your imagination. I haven't really done much here as well, like I said, I haven't really played, so nothing's really changed on this front. Like that, even the tree, I haven't chopped that down yet. Um, it's a bit of an issue, you know, I gotta get my butt in action, I haven't even like grown anything else here. I gotta make more fence gates though, because it's really easy to get from like this side to this side, just because of like stuff like this, and there are someone placed fence gates actually down there. Um, but it's pretty annoying, like getting if you want if I want to get into the side. Also, I, there's down there. There's also like a random one of these that has dark wood that I want to do originally, but I'm thinking it's kind of dumb, so I'm not going to. Uh, spawn itself hasn't really changed that much. Um, also, if whoever built this oh, it was Kenny actually. That's right. Um, Kenny had like some spaces in here where there are no fences. I'm assuming she did that on purpose, but it was really bugging my OCD, so I placed them back there. If they disappear in the next few days, I will know not to put them there, and they're not there for a reason. Um, but there's also this stuff I kind of want to place, just because it's really bugging me. Like, how it's like an incomplete bridge, and like, you know, ugh, just OCD-related stuff. But, um, yeah. Uh, but anyways, the focus of this episode is actually, we are gonna go find a base. Well, not really find a base, but we, we I want to find a location for a base. Um, this might be a really stupid idea to do this at night. Um, eh, yeah, cause I, I want to start farms. I want to start up, like an area of my own. Um, I definitely feel like I need, like most of the things I want to do, I need materials to do. And I don't really have a reliable way to get those materials unless I started stealing from other people. Like pretty much I have been from Mr. Green Hippo. Well, when I say steal, I mean like crops and all that. Like I've been digging up the potatoes and all that. Like I don't even want to touch like the nether war and all that. All that, Although that's not really building materials. Well, even stuff like this, like cactus and all that, like, I, I, I want to like, start farm my own, especially like, animals and blocks and all that. But anyways, today we are going to be traveling this way to look for a base. I say this way in particular, because I've been that way, I've been that way, I've been kind of that way. I, although, come to think of it, I haven't really been this, well, I, I've kind of been that way. So, we're, but we're going in a diagonal pace this way. I thought I saw something that way, but no, it's just a smudge on my monitor. Oh. Well, that's a bit of an issue, I just realized, because of all the 
because of all of the swamp biome here, this might be a bit annoying to um, go over. But of course, that actually might be a good thing as well, because that might mean no one's been this way. Um, I know there's a way to find like an overviewer for the map of the server that I have access to. I have not looked into that yet, though. Holy crap, that scared me for some reason, that mountain spawning in the distance. Uh, yeah, I have not looked into that yet. I'm going to because I'm more than curious to see, especially Mr. Green Hippo's trek to the desert, which, like I said, I think you said it was like uh, 15,000 blocks there and back. Holy legs. Um, yeah, or no, it was like 15 blocks to the, or 15,000 blocks to the desert, I should say. Look at this crap. Have I been this way? I feel like I have. Like, look, this is not a place I would want to build, at least not yet. But this is actually looking amazing. Um, I also went and dug obsidian. That's actually the first time I believe in the game I've dug dug dung. <laughs> the first time in the game I've dug obsidian. Which I mean, it's a crazy sauce. It's a crazy man. It's crazy. It feels weird that I have to be so quiet. Ah, uh, I I didn't grab blocks. Crap. That's one thing I did forget. Hmm. And I was initially setting up to like do this trick. I'm like, can't forget blocks. No matter what, I can't forget blocks. Oh yeah. Well, we did come across the sun before, haven't we? Future home and offices of Mr. Green. Oh, sweet. I have been this way before. That's kind of shit. I didn't realize this was so close to spawn, though. Oh boy, look at all those mobs. All them mobs, though. Oh boy. Okay, well, thankfully I have a super efficiency pick. Let's keep traveling. Um, I do want to get... Well, I don't want to get too far away. I wouldn't mind being walking distance from spawn. What I really want is don't you dare creeper okay he didn't good job creeper what i really want to find oh, is this more swamp of course it is what i really want to be able to find is Ooh. Oh. oh i thought i was gonna die there for a sec what i really want to find is like a plains biome with um not really a river but like a lake uh, at the end of it that sounds very specific and weird but i want to have like um kind of a house on the water almost and sheep, I would really be nice if you had... Oh, those sheep do have fur, though. <laughs> sheep fur. I do want to sleep off the night, because first thing during the night not only affects, like, what you see, like, visually, but also just want to... I just don't want to deal with all the mobs, to be honest with you. All right. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, you only gave me... Oh, you know, you gave me two. Good boy. Good boy. You get a cookie. Uh... Did you not have a brother? I could have sworn he had a brother that had fur on him. Little sheep fur. Little wool. Uh, there's one all the way over there. Where the heck, where did the other one go? Did I just see another one up the mountain here? Or was that a star? Ah, I did see one. Oh boy. Help. Is it all of them shaven? Who's been shaving the sheep? Do not be so abusive towards the sheep. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, I guess we're going in that sheep then. <laughs> oh boy, don't shoot to me. Don't show. Oh, that was actually kind of helpful. Uh-huh. Well, I'm just taking the hits like a champ. Holy crap, this sheep run all the way over here? I am proud of you, Mr. Sheep. Oh boy. Well, we might as well collect more sheep. Oh, we're on the way. Oh, that looks like a cool cave. How is this? I know I've been in one of these caves. It might have even been that one. I'm not entirely sure. Um... Need to place this down, and it, and actually, this is the first time I believe I've also made a bed in this um, world, which is weird. Mostly just because I've been working on spawn this entire time, and I mean ha there hasn't really been a reason for me to make a bed and spawn anywhere else. But well, I'm changing that. Yeah, I feel like if I deal with spawn too much like it's already starting to burn me out in the game it's just like you know working on one particular thing although it is kind of more than one because I'm not only working on like the spawn pad I'm working on like the tunnel and I like placing all those flowers and decorations and all that and like that for the most part I'm really like I said I'm really happy with that and I do have to do like the staircase but I'm pretty close to finishing with the spawn tunnel and I've been kind of stressed too because I'm like I want to make spawn, like, you know, I want to have town, or not towns, I want to have, like, house, or not housings, jeez. How does one speak? Hmm, well, this would look pretty cool if it wasn't for that crap. Uh, we will continue on. Um, I do feel like I should, um, look at my coordinates every once in a while. I'm really just waiting for, 
to find an area where oh that could have ended very badly if we sleep here that'd be great if we could oh come on there we go oh ooh, it's letting me sleep oh zombies don't touch me zombie i know he seems i know he sees me there we go okay happy happy millions of happies are within me okay every once in a while i'm going to take a screenshot just so in case i die and look you can see the time right there if you feel like figuring out yep 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 um hmm. see i don't really like that it looks cool but at the same time it's just like like just looking at it you're like well that's just an error on my part <laughs> oh white horses neat i'm taking a screenshot of that for later Someone's gonna totally steal one of these horses. Well, then again, I could go get a saddle myself. Although, we could see what some of the stats are, right? We need a bare hand, am I right? Ooh. Mm, 11 hearts. Brrr. Well, I'm glad you didn't hurt yourself, Mr. Horsey. What? Oh, that's also 11 hearts. He doesn't seem to like me very much. <laughs> Do I smell or something? Ooh, holy crap. 13, that's not bad at all. Does he like me? I think he likes me. That was the first... Oh, I feel like I should get this guy now. He liked me in the first shot. It's like Destiny. I was really happy with his 13 hearts, and then he's like, You know what, Chris? I like you. Mm, that guy's probably fast, though, even though he doesn't have many hearts. But I think my heart's set on that one with uh, 13 hearts. <laughs> I just want him. I just want him to love me. What's that? Oh, flower. I got spawned on the sand. Mm -hmm. It'd be really nice if one of us found a nearby desert. <laughs> um, mostly because there's no one or none of that is nearby. There is no desert nearby, rather. Um, more horses. Oh, oh, I was like, whoa, you're just not even letting me on them, but that's because my hand's not bare. Oops, that is not how you get off a horse, Chris. You don't hit escape. Um, hmm, my leg is itchy, and I'm just using that. I'm just humming as an excuse to like not really move too much. Hmm. Like, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for, but I want a bigger body of water than that. And I... Oh, I was like, I already feel like it's starting to get to midday, but no, it's not. Just hanging around, like, here might be the best idea. Like, nestled against the mountain would be really cool as well. I feel like we're about to run to, like, uh, Judah's house. Oh, that looks awesome! I feel like I'm about to, like, run to, like, Judah's house or something, though. Has anyone been here? It doesn't look like... Well, actually, it, probably people have been here, but it doesn't look like anyone's touched this. Oh, there's even like a column under there, it looks like. Or is that just something else in the distance? From a distance. Uh, yeah, it looks okay, but I mean, I don't really think it's somewhere I want to build. I feel like I want to go farther away from spawn. What do we <gasps> have here? I was about to say, but then I fell down a freaking cliff face. I could have, that was like a ravine or something. That could have been the end of me. Oh, this is one of those bridge forests. I've heard legends upon legends about. I think it's the first time I've seen one of these, actually. Hmm, I'm kind of liking this place, actually. Well, I don't know how I feel about those floating islands. I like them when they're actually, like, have grass on them. So that looks really weird. This place looks just really weird to me, man. Oh, this, on the other hand, doesn't look weird to me. It looks freaking badass. Oh my good lord. Oh, it looks so cool. But is it, but the question becomes, is it a place I want to um, live in? Yeah, maybe not. I mean, I judged a place... Well, that was weird. I was not expecting to find another flower biome. Yeah. Is this the same one, maybe? Oh, I'm taking a screenshot of it. We're already a thousand blocks out. <laughs> Actually, more like fifteen hundred blocks out. Well, maybe a bit less than that. Oh, is this an ocean? Well, oh, <gasps> is this a no? It's that's just a beach, right? Is there supposed to be desert over here? This is well, minus like the giant hills. I do kind of like this area. I guess I haven't really explained what I want to get out of this building? Ooh. Huh. Well, hmm, it's really hard for me to decide what I want to do. If you couldn't tell I'm really perplexed on what I want to do, then, well, I don't even know what to say. 
Hmm, do I like this place? Like that hill right there would probably have to go, but I could, well, it's pretty cramped though. Like that, like this here really limits my area of how, like how big of a house I can put there, unless I just rose up the entire area. But where's the fun in that? I'm gonna laugh so hard if I find like a desert right now or something. No, there's more freaking cliff face uh, ruin spawn or ruin like area. Uh, now the question is, do I want to go across the ocean or not? Hmm, if you can, if you guys can tell, this is more of a traveling episode than anything. <laughs> uh, this is like I wanted to find a way to, or I want to find a way to make an episode, but I didn't really. Well, it's not like I didn't feel like building, but I didn't really want to do all the work that was required for me to build today. Oh, this really looks cool. It's like a bay. Well, it is a bay, actually. It's not just like a bay. It is a bay. Should I go across? Maybe I should at least go across this water here. Well, we are definitely making a boat for this. Because, you know, screw going um, across there swimming. That would take forever. Forever or night. Alright, let's see if we can not crash this boat. I have not gone into a boat ever since the update. Come on. Oh, I tried to do the trick where you push it and you jump in so it doesn't take forever to turn around, but nope. Oh, come on, boat. Seriously. Hope I have enough food to, like, make it there and back. Although, once I find the place, that should really be my only um, worry since I do have coordinates. I'm going to go into the nether. I'm just going to mine to um, where I want, or where the, um, the spawn is, where spawn portal is. And then just make a portal that... Oh wait, I was like, wait, do I have enough nether, or do I have enough obsidian for that? But yeah, well, for one, I would have enough if I did have to make two portals. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, and this is newly generated train too. We've been looking for one of these. I might be the first one with acacia wood in the server. I don't think anyone has acacia wood yet. What? Are you kidding me? Well, at least this one too far. I thought it spun me all the way back over there or something, though. Well, apparently this is a glitch in the game right now where it's just, you get, um, you get all the boat and then sends you like 30 blocks back or sometimes even a lot more than that. Well, this is awesome. I'm I'll definitely taking the coordinates down for this place. Yeah. Ooh, the game did not like me taking a screenshot. It's like, girl, you don't want to take no screenshot. Is this small? This seems like a small biome, but hey, at least we're generating new terrain. What's that? More whore thieves. Oh, thief. Hmm. See, this is exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for. <laughs> but I do not like the grass color in this biome. Should I cut ahead? I might do that, actually, just because I feel like we could only walk for so long before it gets really boring. What? That was badass! And what's with all those dead grass? Oh, there's donkeys! <laughs> It's like that reminds me of um, Vintage Beef's donkey. He's like the only one that has donkeys. Donkeys really don't have a purpose in this game. I mean... <gasps> oh, Someone's gonna be mad! <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, we found a desert! I'm so happy! Oh my god. Mr. Green Hippo's not gonna be happy that he walked all the way for nothing when there's a desert just 2,000 blocks away from spawn. I mean, 2,000 blocks is still pretty far. And dead trees, yes, I needed these. Yes. And you as well. I do need you. I'll take you. This is actually pretty awesome. Get that F3 out of here. Aw, oh, man. I'm actually really happy with this. Yay! I wonder how big this place is. That's hilarious. And I also wonder if there's a jungle temple. Look how badass this looks. <gasps> Can we break this? Oh, no, it's all sand. Well, not all of it. We could do... Can we not do that? Oh, jeez. Calm down, perhaps. Calm down. Eh? Man, I love doing that. <laughs> oh, look at this! I can't tell if this is... Well, actually, it's not probably glitchy on my server end. Because I'm pretty sure, like, all the um, flat cliff faces, like, that's obviously not supposed to happen. Um, I'm pretty sure that's my fault, maybe just leg related, but I know stuff like that happens naturally. I don't think that's my fault. Dude, are we going to be able to see a jungle, or not a jungle, a desert temple? I don't think I've ever come across one of those before in like survival. Maybe I have. I don't know. Okay, well I'll cut ahead again. 
Well, that was weird. I was just about to start recording. I was like, oh, it's this. But then fraps might... Okay, the numbers in fraps, when you don't record, they're yellow. And by the when I say the numbers, if you don't use fraps, fraps, or if you know, you know, don't do YouTube videos in general, um, fraps counts the amount of um, your frame rate, right? And when you're not recording, it's yellow. When you do record, it's red. So I just hit record. And I was going, ooh, guess what I found, guys? It's a village! And then it turned purple. It's like, uh, what? <laughs> that scared me. I wasn't sure if I broke it or something or if that was just a visual glitch, but it scared me and then I said it and now all is good. I found a village! And this is definitely the first time anyone's been here. Ooh, well, never mind. I was like, ooh, this is after the updates happened, but no, that's not true. Oh, great. I'm sure there's already some- whoa, this is weird. What? Okay. I'm gonna assume that's part of the spawnage. Whoa. Did someone just go in there? Did he disappear? That scared it. Maybe he just left. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want anything with a village? Probably, but we're gonna ignore for now. Ooh, kill him. Alright, you guys need to get out. Get out of here. Uh, there is there. I'm pretty sure now chests can spawn. Oh, there's another savanna. Unless it's the same one. Um. In case you're curious about my key, order, key orderance, those are them. All we gotta find is like a mesa now and we'll be, we'll be set for life. This is awesome. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there could be chests in any building now. Is that true? I've only heard that. I've never seen it. Holy crap, one was a full set of iron armor. That's awesome. Um, yeah, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna spend time looking through every house. Screw that. Uh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm finding all the stuff for spawn for my for you know for the server. <laughs> I feel helpful for once. <laughs> hmm. I've gotten all turned around, but I believe that's the same village we were just at. If you look over here, this peninsula is looking pretty promising. Although actually thinking of it right like literally the second. I don't really know if I want to live right beside of a desert. <laughs> Let's take a look at what this looks like and see what we can see and if we want to build here. Hmm, oh man, many difficult decisions. I feel like I could build a house here, but because of it's like, it's like a tiny peninsula, I feel like that's kind of limiting, isn't it? Here's the dirt. Plus it's like, well, it's not really that high off the ground, but should we make this our house? I think we might. So at least we could make this, like this very area, our, um, like our base of operations, and we could have like farms and all that, like, uh, we could use this to bridge the gap. Like, look at that. That's like a perfect bridge right there. Like, it's like it's like perfectly straight on both sides and everything. That was awesome. Um, I guess we're gonna make this our home. <laughs> home sweet home. It's beautiful, isn't it, guys? Um, we're gonna start up right now by lighting it up a bit. Um, I'm not gonna show this, I guess. <laughs> But, uh, what I am gonna show is... Oh, I didn't bring a flint and steel, I just realized this. Well then, I'm stupid. We gotta find gravel now. Well, I mean, because we have th this crap. Well, at least we could, like, make the portal. We'll make it, like, I don't know. We'll we'll make a temporary portal, right? I don't know. Let's say right over... Here. Dang it, we should have... Well... Um... <laughs> What I stupidly always, well actually what I see everyone do, I shouldn't even say what I stupidly do, because I don't even really do this, but what I see people do is like they put the portal risen up like that, it's, I don't really get the point of that, when you could just literally just put it so you could just walk into it, I don't know, um, we don't even have any dirt, what a pity, oh a pity, um, so while I'm doing this, have you guys been keeping up with Ultra Hardcore? Uh, Minecraft, so I'm glad I didn't place that there by accident. Um, three, right? Yes, that is correct. Um, yeah, I've been watching Ultra Hardcore right now. I normally cheer to pause on pause on every time I watch, but this time I'm not really too sure. Um, they've been super overpowered this season. Um, I'm, well, I should, I feel like I'm being getting really spoilery now. I can't even reach that now, can I? Great. How do I do this? <laughs> I don't think I can't. Well, I need more blocks. That's how I do it. Well, I guess I should might as well just use this crap. I'm going to need to dig some of this out anyways. Um, 
Well, spoilers if you guys don't want to listen to my... Oh, I'm not going to really even spoil anything. But just saying someone's overpowered doesn't really necessarily spoil anything. Okay, that looks out like that. Right, anyways. Um, but yeah, they've been super overpowered. Which is kind of why I'm hoping they don't win. I've always been, like, the guy that cheers for the underdog. Regardless if I, like, normally like them or not. Well, that's not true. If I don't normally like someone, I won't cheer for them. But if I at least somewhat like them... I will normally cheer for them if they're the underdog, just because I love it when, like, you have one super overpowered team, and then you have one really underpowered team, and then the underpowered team just comes in and, like, you know, either outsmarts them, or just, you know, does something really badass, and wins. So, I'm really hoping that, like, the underdogs take it away, besides blame the controller. I'm sorry, as much as I love, like, uh, Minecrackers, why am I using my hand when I can just do this still? As much as I love, like, pretty much all the Minecrackers, I don't, like playing the controller's playstyle. He hides in the nether. I mean, I see why he does it, but I don't really agree with his playstyle. He just hides in the nether. He tries to get potions, which is a great idea, but when it comes to the point where it's like you've been in the nether for like five episodes, you're hiding from everyone else, you're trying to get potions, but it's like if you take too long, if you like take that long, like come on, you should, you know, leave the nether. That's clearly not working and at least like, you know, Attempt something else, I guess. I mean, don't really throw away the game, but at least try to. Whoa, what was that? I think some of my portal glitched. I'm scared. Oh, that scared me for a second. Okay, we're immediately going back because I want to see if I glitched up the portal because I feel like I did. Did I? No, I did not. I actually got excited because I was really kind of hoping I did glitch up the portal. Hmm. Okay, um, now, where are we? And no one's been here either, it seems. We're about... No, we're this way? Yes, we're somewhere that spawns that way. I think it's like 64, 64 or something like that. I'm going to quickly look at the screenshot. Oh, that's a cool, like, lava... Lava? <laughs> that's a cool lava waterfall. Oh, God. Being in the nether just scares the hell out of me. I hate being in the nether. It's scary. It's just so scary, man. I can't stand it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna figure out where spawn is, and I will see you guys momentarily in two seconds. Whoosh! Okay, this episode's getting a bit long in time, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> um, I've almost dug all the way to spawn without any problems until I got to... Wait. Oh, am I going the right way? Um... I believe, yes, okay, I am. Uh, actually, I think we're right almost to it. Um, Yeah, I was digging to spawn, no problems, until I got to this opening right here. And you see, you see those blocks over there? That's the spawn portal, but we have this big lava lake. It wouldn't be a problem if I had fire uh, protection po po potions, fire resistance, whatever it's called, but I, I do not. <laughs> what is that? I see a little glimmer glamour right there. Is that fire? Oh, it is fire. That's weird and random. Um, and not, well, I could very carefully bridge across. What I might do is dig to the very top of the nether, um, when you hit bedrock. And I might just dig towards it and then, like, take the fall damage as I co go down to there. And then just die and go and collect my stuff because I don't, well, because I, I want to have, like, the nether hub, um, at bedrock level. I probably should have thought about this early. Oh my god, I hate being in the, it's scary. Everything's just scary about it. I hate it. I hate it. <sighs> Ooh, there's Blaze up there. I don't know if I don't know the other fortresses. I want. I wonder if I could hit him from here. There's. I don't think I can, but let's try it. Ooh. Would that not just be amazing? Let's try it one more time. I have no clue where these arrows are hitting. Oh, they hit the. They hit the nether rock. Nether rack. <sighs> I think that's pretty close. Why isn't he moving? Oh, no. Okay, that's hitting over. That's probably like 30 blocks away from him still. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave likes and already. If you have an interest in joining the server, the only real requirement is you must be able to make a Let's Play on the server and not be an asshole. <laughs> um, I'll leave a link to the application down below. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will figure out what to do about this, and probably you guys will see about that in the next episode. I should not be messing with my arrows. I only have 20 of them. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!